Hey, what's up, guys? Brandon Season 5 here, aka Damnation 2013 Brandon. And sorry for the camera shaky, but I'm going to show you how to connect a bunch of controllers to uh, SSF2. Since a couple people have asked, uh, because I did a Joy Con challenge that I decided to make, and they asked, uh, how do you connect a Joy Con to your computer? Even though there are tons of tutorials on how to do it. But I'm just going to show you like, a bunch of controller um, options that you can use to play SSF2. Since now the game is controller compatible. Obviously you've got the GameCube controller. You'd need a GameCube adapter. Uh, but if, if you have like an official one, you're going to need to install some drivers. I do have an official one-ish. But but like I brought it from a different website because they were probably out at the time. Also I got a little bit cheaper. But I, I did install the drivers one time. But unfortunately I do not remember how to um, install them. Uh, since I got rid of them on my computer. So... I am using a Mayflash one, which you, which uh, which has a switch for PC, that for PC and Wii U, and you can obviously just uh, plug it in there. This is Dylan's, uh, my friend's. This is not mine. This is his. So, yeah. <laughs> so obviously you could just just make sure it's on PC mode and just plug it in, and then it will work. And yeah, you can just plug it, uh, plug it in, plug, just plug in the GameCube controller, it'll be fine. And uh, and I've also got a PS4 controller here as well because this also because this uses Bluetooth, but you can also plug it in wired. But I think Bluetooth would be uh, a little bit more better since uh, sometimes I like it wireless, even though a wired controller is good since there isn't any like input delay or latency. I think I've said that correct. Bluetooth is nice if you want to play far away. Uh, and Joy-Con, I'm just practicing for the next smash. Um, but if you have the grip on, no, not the grip. Uh, this, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> but if you have that on, you need, you're going to need to take it off first. And also, this unfortunately does not work with the grip. So with two Joy Cons, because they detect them as their own separate controller. So let's begin. So what you're gonna need to do first, if I can get the mouse up here, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna turn off the camera, is you're gonna need to turn on Bluetooth on your computer. So we're just gonna go on devices. Then there's Bluetooth and other drivers. Make sure you turn it on. Now I've already got the Joy Cons paired, but I'm gonna disconnect them. Once it's disconnected, yep. Yeah, just remove them quickly so then I can show you how to pair them. Now, and, and I'll also do the same with the PS4 controller. So let me turn back on the camera. And let's go on add Bluetooth or another device. Press on Bluetooth. Okay. Now what we're going to need to do is, is press this small button right here. Hold it. Do you see it glowing? Then you'll see it, and it's connected. Okay, now the Joy-Con's connected. Oh, and now we can do the PS4 controller. The way to do this is you're going to need to press the plus button, no, yeah, the PS button, and the share button at the same time. Once you've once you've held it. It will start blinking. And now, let's add that. Bluetooth. It will say like it's complete setting up and stuff, so that's fine, don't worry about it. Just wait for it to appear. Well, it usually does take a bit of time, so just wait for a bit. Unless we did something wrong, we'll see. Uh, blue, uh, another device, Bluetooth, it should appear, oh, 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 it's still blinking, hmm, that's weird, the computer doesn't want to detect it for some unknown reason, that's weird, <laughs> I'm not making a mistake, uh, the, it should, can, it should find it, Again, one more time, just for luck. If it does, if it does not appear, oh. 
Now there's an input device that says it on there. That should be it. Wireless controller, there it is. It just take, it probably just takes a bit uh, to find it. To find it. It says connected. Is it actually connecting? Let me just see what I'm trying. It's probably because my PS4 controller's out of charge, maybe. I'm not too sure. Yes, it is probably out of charge. <laughs> I, I am an idiot. But yeah, it will probably be connected. I'm just going to remove it because, yeah. Okay. Now we've got the controller set up. Now we can actually go on the game. Uh, let's connect to the other... There it is. And let's get the game running. Okay. Let's go on here. Now I've already connected my GameCube controller already to um, SF2. I'm not sure why the game is in a ratio, but okay. Um, you're going to need to go on options, controls. Now you will see the GameCube controller right here. Um, the ports are very random. I'm not sure why, unfortunately, they are very random. But I can't fix this. I don't think they've made an update. So for me, port 1 is is adapter 4. Now, when you put it in for the first time, when you put in the keys, uh, your controller won't move. So what mine's just doing right now, even though I've already set, uh, I've already set it up, it stopped working, <laughs> but that's fine because when you put it in for the first time, it will detect it will detect the keys, but it won't. Uh, well, unfortunately, your controller won't work. Now you're probably wondering, did I do something wrong? Don't worry, you didn't. Okay, what I recommend for doing for detect because when you click L and R for the first time, oh, never mind, <laughs> it's already fixed. But when you, yeah, okay, when you. Press, uh, press L and R for the first time, it will say AX, which is analog. You do not want that, so I recommend slightly pushing the uh, triggers, then press it until it says button. Trust me, this can be tedious, and now it's already at button 5. So the controller's set up, but unfortunately, it does not work. So. So what we're going to need to actually do, and this has worked, restart the game, and then reload it, because then it will start detecting the GameCube controllers. So after it's reconnected, now it actually works. See, works all well. I'm going to connect the Joy-Con, and trust me, this is very easy. On controls. Now we're going to go on player two, and we're now going to set this as uh, it, or, well the left the left or right Joy-Con will both say wireless pad, so just pick one of them, and then just set them out. So we're just saying up right now. Okay, uh, and and some buttons, to be honest, are limited, unfortunately. So, yeah, so you're probably going to have like one shield button and then one grab button, which is fine because it's basically just like the DS. So yeah, that is, and then unfortunately you can't do smash attack, which you're going to need to do automatically. But uh, I just set them as the L and the L, well depending on the joystick that you're picking, as those. So it's fine if they're buttons because obviously, they, basically... Nearly all of this is button inputs, basically, except for the um, analog. Well, actually, the analog is uh, uh, the computer thinks of it as a D-pad, to be honest. But uh, if you look, it also doesn't work either, so you're gonna actually have to restart the game. So any controller you usually put in, you're gonna have to restart the game, unfortunately, which is a little bit tedious. But hope, but hopefully they'll uh, be able to fix this in the future. So it actually works, and I'm actually going to turn on my camera just to show you it works. Oh. 
do 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 do. Okay. Get the camera working. I'm uh, I'm gonna have to play this with one handed as well. Uh, so the Joy-Con. Yeah, yeah, Texas player two. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let me put Mega Man. Then the GameCube controller. It works just fine. I'm gonna make it a sand uh, sandbag. Cause might as well. And yes, it does work. Uh, and I'm on training mode, so obviously it ain't gonna take the the tech. Uh, Play it too, I think. Oh, it does. Ah, okay. So, yeah. Or not. Am I doing this at random? I'm not too sure. Ah. Human, that's better. Okay. See, works just fine. And just, and, and I have set the smash attacks to these buttons, so. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in this game you can't press it and it will hold it. Like if you hold the button, it won't actually hold the attack. So yeah, but to show all the buttons actually do work. To make this as a taunt, uh, the picture button. Make this as a grab, obviously. And obviously, when it's blinking constantly like this, it's fine. It just means that it's connected to the uh, computer. That's all. It's because it's not a Nintendo Switch. So like, since I ain't connected to a Switch, it's got it's gonna like con uh, it's not gonna like. It's, it's basically going to constantly blink since it's connected to the computer. Since it's connected to the computer but not the Switch. Because with the Switch it has like a single uh, light for each player. So it is so that you should, so that should be player 1, then 2, then 3, and 4, and yes, yeah, so on and so forth. I do have tap on. But for some reason in this game, by the time you exit and you go back on it, it turns on tap on automatically for some unknown reason, which I hate. But yeah, it does work. Unfortunately, sandbag moves very slowly. Here, smash attacks work. Yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use not only a Joy-Con but also uh, other controls as well. Uh, this will also say wireless gamepad as well, uh, since it's using Bluetooth, and it should uh, be, or well, it should also be the same when it's plugged in as well. But yeah, this is me, brand new two seven five. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you finally know how to do the, the uh, finally know how to use the Joy-Con. Hopefully you can do the Joy-Con challenge too that I've made. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, me Brandon Two Seven Five, and I'll see you guys later.